Just a quick video for today, but it's actually AMP related for the nice change in the recent days. Uh, this is that 64 Deluxe Reverb. And there were just some behaviors that I wasn't entirely happy with. Real subtle stuff. The difference between a pretty damn good amp and a truly great amp can be stuff like this. Uh, it's not, I'm not saying that as hyperbole or to inflate the importance of what I do or whatever, but you know, it's just a fact. The difference between a good thing and a great thing often comes to these details. Uh, I don't think these are actually details. I think these are core fundamentals upon which the circuit should behave, but it's stuff that's not often addressed. Uh, I'm going to try to simplify this for you guys. I've got this blue wire here up in the air, the blue and the yellow wires that typically feed the phase inverter input are up in the air. And the blue wire is disconnected at this end. And the blue wire is co uh, connected to the eyelet over here where the 47 nanofarad cap connects, but the 47 nanofarad cap is up in the air. And I am measuring, as you can see, 843, 840-ish um, uh, millivolts on that wire. Now, if I measure the jacket of that wire, the insulation, I get 0.97. If I measure this yellow here, I get over two volts. I measure this yellow jacket here, two volts. What is happening is because this yellow wire is leaking DC into its cloth covering and, and it's wrapped around the blue. The blue wire is actually um, picking up a stray voltage, even though there's no connection other than to the eyelet here. And this is up in the air. And if I take this uh, clamp, this alligator cable, one side the chassis. If I connect it to the other end of this blue wire, it's hard to do left-handed on camera, you see the voltage goes to zero because it's going to ground. I disconnect that. If I were to do that gently to the blue uh, insulation, it drops down about 100 millivolts. And if I were to do that, or maybe I'll just touch it against the yellow cloth insulation. It also drops down about 300 milli millivolts. Did I say milliamps a minute ago? I meant millivolts. So if I have uh, that yellow wire reference to ground there, the insulation, that brings the uh, voltage in that blue wire down to 282 millivolts as opposed to about 870-ish, it's kind of fluctuate. Sometimes it, when it first powers up, sometimes it's over one and a half volts and it settles down. So what I need to do is I need to remove the yellow and blue wires from this amp as much as possible, get as much of them up in the air as possible and absolutely soak them in isopropyl and then dry them out thoroughly and then see if they can be put back and if that voltage goes away. If not, then I need to replace them with other blue and yellow cloth covered wires because how things look are important in these things. But over time, these things soak up moisture in the air and particles that are in the air. And this has been played since 1964. And I can see that distinctive uh, yellowish tinge, orangish tinge on some of the preamp tube sockets. Uh, a smoker owned this amp in the past, and it's probably been played in a lot of smoky clubs. All those particles get absorbed into the cloth, and then the cloth becomes a little bit conductive, and here we are. So uh, I'm going to try to get rid of uh, whatever yuck is inside the cloth and make it insulate again. If not, I will you know, replace it with period-correct stuff. In general, unless I'm working on an old 50s and 60s amp, Cloth covered wire is just for the birds, you know. It looks pretty, but it's not a good insulator. But you know, it is period correct. All right, now I've got all these wires disconnected up in the air. They have been cleaned, soaked with isopropyl alcohol. Someone's at the door, so let me do this real fast. Right now, the outside of this jacket's got 30, 40, 50 volts, depending on how hard I press on it. 200 volts on the outside of this jacket because they are connected here to DC coming off the preamp nodes. So that's quite a bit of DC 
It's one of the reasons cloth covered wire is not so great. So I'm hoping as that all evaporates out of this wire, that that drops down to some sane figure. We'll, we'll find out in just a minute. Well, you win some, you lose some. I had it all soaking in alcohol, all separated, hit it with a heat gun, let it sit for a couple hours, and uh, this old cotton cloth is just no longer an insulator. So I'm going to replace all this in same yellow and blue, and it'll probably be absolutely fine at that point. But um, this shall not pass. Thanks for watching.